Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are continuing on with the aircraft carrier planes, and this is the one we ended up building last time. Honestly, I do actually rate this one, I do think it looks okay. I think the second plane that we actually built might be a little bit better though, so what we might do is use both of them. Uh, that is down to the fact that if I can actually get an engine into the second one, that would be great. Uh, if we can't fit an engine in it, then we probably can't use it, but anyway... Uh, today we're obviously going to continue on with this one. Let's go ahead and see if we can fix the back end to look a little bit nicer and we'll go from there because honestly the front end actually looks pretty good. Hey! Alright, so uh, the other thing that I wanted to say before I actually started this video is I actually uploaded two videos, one with BeamNG Drive if you guys like driving videos and stuff like that, you should check that video out. It was actually really fun to make. Uh, we ended up crashing a bus into a bunch of cars. And then the other thing is we did a sub hunting video as well. That might trigger you a little bit if you're into sub hunting, but um, yeah, it was a fun video to make. Anyway, let's get on with this one, shall we? Alright, so one of the issues with this is actually how wide it is. Uh, and the fact that it doesn't actually like simmer down until the very back end. So what we need to do is actually delete this bit, and then we need to replace it somewhere else. I know that sounds weird, but that is kind of what we need to do. So we'd fill that in, we'd go backwards, I guess four, yeah, maybe this will actually be it. And uh, we might even be able to do it from here. So realistically, if we attach this piece to there like this, we should be able to do that, that's fine. And then maybe even just attach that guy onto there like so. Delete these guys right here, delete that again, whack that in... Uh, oh, actually, no, maybe that's fine. <laughs> maybe it's fine the way that it, that it is. Uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, delete this. Go ahead and smash that into there like that. And I think that looks a little bit better. But only a little bit, not like massively. We need to change it even more. We do. Alright guys, I've deleted the back end of this aircraft. Now that might be a really bad idea or a good idea. I'm not entirely sure just yet. But uh, we need to do it differently, don't we? So what I'm thinking we do is we actually delete these guys also, yes, uh, which is maybe a bit strange. We go backwards like three, uh, and we actually start adding these back on. So essentially that's going to go up to there like that, kind of. Uh, we're going to delete this guy right here, and we're going to attach these guys together like so. Uh, and there we go, that's kind of weird, but it should be, yeah, okay, we can get this to work. Uh, we're then going to go backwards three again from here, one, two, three. Uh, we're then going to do the same thing right there. And honestly, we're just going to go ahead and strap these guys on like so, uh, and that is going to be that done. Now, it might look weird, but it's what we've got, so that's what we're going to go with. Uh, we're then going to attach these guys on to the points where I was going to add them last time. We're going to do that in there, we're going to do this in here, and I think that looks a lot better. With that being said, we now need to figure out how to attach the bottom bit on, uh, and yeah, this might be quite tricky. <laughs> In fact, it might be very tricky. So we're going to bring this backwards too. Uh, and then we should be able to start adding them on from there. So let's do this. Let's grab this color. Go ahead and put it right there. And we're going to do... Oh, no, maybe not. Maybe that's not actually how we do it. Maybe we delete all of these. Delete that and that. And delete that all the way across there. This might have to be how we do it. Um, which is very interesting. <laughs> it is very, very interesting. So if we do this, one, two, three... We then attach these guys back onto there, like this, and that's not right. That's not quite right. Yeah, so we're going to actually have to do this uh, as we go backwards, but that's fine. Okay, and then if we build all of that in like that, okay, excellent, I think. We then attach these guys again onto here, like this, and then we need to somehow attach all of the rest of this together. I don't know how this works, but essentially this needs to go on there like that. We need to do something like this, maybe. Yeah, okay, good. And then maybe, just maybe, we can actually send this backwards. Uh, kind of like this. Yeah, to there. We grab one of these and we put it in there like this. And then we fill in the middle section, all the way backwards to there. What does that look like? Does that look better or worse? I have no idea. Alright, so we're going to roll with this for now. I think that actually looks a lot better. Probably, possibly. Uh, we're now going to paint all of this section in just like this, as we should. Uh, because realistically, it was going to be this color anyway, so this is what we're doing. Um, however, that may change in a second once I paint the entire thing green. But, you know, ignore that I said that for now. Um, 
we won't be painting it green just yet. <laughs> so yeah, just ignore what I just said. Anyway, fill that in right there, that's excellent. Go ahead and grab the blue, paint these pieces in on the sides, and maybe even on the top, sure. And that'll be fine. Excellent. So I think I'm actually pretty pleased with that. I think that works. We're then actually going to send this across here like so. Realistically, we shouldn't actually do the front in that color, but we'll do it like this. And then we could do this bit as well the exact same way, all the way around to there, and that'll be fine. I think this is a better shape. I think the fact that it's a little bit longer is a lot better. All right, with that being said, uh, we're also going to actually make the wings a little bit bigger as well. So the wings should be a few blocks bigger in terms of its width uh, than the rest of it. So that's currently 37. Is it actually, though? Is it actually 37? Uh, I don't think it is. Oh, maybe it is. Uh, so that's like 19 plus do, 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 uh, 18. Yeah, okay. Right, so delete all of that. Yes, there we go. We need it to be longer because this is only... Well, how big is this? How big is the actual airframe itself? So that is 36. So actually, it's about right. But that's not right. <laughs> it, it, it doesn't look right, so therefore it isn't right. That's what we're going to go with here. So we're going to delete these guys. Uh, and the way we're going to make the wings bigger is we're just going to attach these guys onto here. We're going to do that. We're then going to go ahead and do one of these on the end. Yeah, just like so. We're going to do this uh, like this. Backwards, maybe two. Go ahead and put this piece onto here like so. And then grab this piece and send it backwards from there. Hopefully this will look okay. Yeah, I think it will. So we attach all of this together. Just like so. And yeah, I think that's fine. I think that looks pretty good, actually. So we're going to get rid of this wing, apparently. So we're going to we're gonna actually delete this wing completely. Yes, there we go. We're then going to grab this wing on this side, obviously, because we need the entire thing, please. There we go. Uh, we're going to go ahead and cut it. No, copy it. We're going to press U. We're going to take it to the other side. We're going to paste it directly under there. And that'll be cool, I think. We need to merge the green. No, the green with the green. Yeah, the green with the yellow. All right, cool. Attach that back onto there. Excellent. Uh, that's looking pretty spicy. I like it. Delete this one. Go ahead and put this guy on here like this. And lastly, uh, down here, we just need one of these on the other side. Just like so. All right. That's kind of cool. I like it. All right. The other thing we're going to have to do as well is actually paint in these little sections just to make sure they are actually done. So let me make sure they're all in. There we go. Paint this little piece as well. Make sure that's done on both sides. All of this needs painting also, of course. And uh, we're good there. Okay, excellent. So I think this looks a hell of a lot better than it did, uh, which I'm happy about, to be honest. Uh, you know what? I actually want to delete this, and I want to replace it with one of these. Yeah, I want it to be longer. That might be weird. Uh, the other thing is, actually, we'll delete those, and we'll use one of these in here, like this. Yeah, excellent. Uh, we will actually drag that backwards like that. I think that gives it a little bit more of a um, a nicer look. So we're going to do that. That's fine. It'll also allow us to jump onto the wing a little bit easier. So that's pretty cool. Okie dokie. So the next thing is obviously we need the tail fin on here. Let's go ahead and start building that in. Hopefully we can do this so it looks quite nice. Uh, with that being said, I think it's going to be quite difficult to do that. But let's try. So go ahead and attach that onto there. Do these guys. And then do this. Upwards from there. Maybe even three. That might be too big, but we'll, we'll try. Yeah, that is quite large. All right, delete this bit on the top. Uh, and what we will do is attach this guy to right here. And honestly, it's actually going to stick out further on the back. So we're going to do this. Let's delete these guys right here. Get ourselves a control surface. And go from there. Oh, this could be sick, actually. If we can get this to fit in properly, that would be amazing. There we go. So we're going to go with that. We're then going to paint this guy in there. Paint those guys. That looks sick. That actually looks really good. I think we've done a good job here. Uh, we're then actually going to delete this and this and this. And we're going to put our um, thingy stabilizers on the edge of this. Now, this might be a bad idea uh, considering, but we're going to go with it. So down from there, attach it onto here. Bring it backwards uh, all the way to the end, I guess. Well, to there. That's fine for now. Let's go ahead and paint this piece right here. Fill this little section in right there as well. And then honestly, we can we can build this in and make it look really good. So we're going to grab... Um, we'll do one of these to begin with. There you go. So one of those. Then we're going to do one of the two by ones. Or one by twos. Uh, one of these guys. I'm going to put that on there. 
This might end up making it too big, but there you go. So we're going to do that, and then we're going to round it off from there, just like so. And to me, that's fine. To me, that's completely fine. It's a bit big, actually. It's a little bit big, but still kind of like it. Now, nah, we're going to delete these. We're going to delete these. Uh, we're going to do one by twos instead. I think that's just the easiest way of doing it, or the nicest way of doing it. One by twos. So we do this outwards. All right, like that. Then we curve it round, just like so. And we end up with a flat piece, like that. There you go. I think that's better, but maybe not, actually. I'm not sure. So we whack that into there. We grab this, and we put it on here like this, I guess. Yeah, there we go. Awesome. Uh, and then we should be able to actually just grab one of these pieces from there, whack it straight onto here, and that'd be fine. What do you guys think? What do you guys think of this? I think we've done a brilliant job with this one. Uh, the previous one obviously wasn't a, the best, and I wasn't really happy with the previous one. So, I think this is a hell of a lot better, to be honest. We're gonna paint all of this, just like so, that's good. We'll paint that little piece right there, and even that little bit right there. There we go. Actually, no, that's gonna be that color. And that as well. There we go, right, cool. So, spawn this in, let's see what it looks like. That is wonderful, yeah, looks pretty good. Uh, and then for the wheel on the back... Uh, what a few of you guys suggested was actually just the wheel coasters, and to be honest, uh, I guess that'd be fine. So we're going to do this, we're going to attach that onto there, go to wheels, and all we need is one of these on the back, like so. Um, and that'll be fine. Spawn it in, let's see what it looks like. Does it want to go all the way at the back? It doesn't, does it? Oh, does it? I'm not sure. I do feel like this bit makes it look a little bit awkward. Uh, so what we might actually do is delete this guy right here and uh, have this bit be flat on the bottom, which means this bit's going to get deleted as well, which means we fill that in like this. Let's see what this looks like. It might work, it might not. So we do that right there. We then obviously do this right here. And then we put our wheel somewhere on there. I think that'll look better than what we currently had. So let's do that. Wheel. The wheel coaster will go like there. I don't know how I feel about this, to be honest. Let's spawn it in and see what it looks like. I'm not very good with where the wheels should go. But um, it's around there, isn't it? It's around that point. We then actually need to attach a thing onto this. We need an arresting hook. Uh, and I think that's what this will be made of. So we'll sort of like lower this down. And that's what, all arresting, yeah, what our arresting hook will be on. That makes sense. Alright, cool. With that being said, let's go and delete this real quick. We're going to make this thing fly with an electric motor, and then we're going to go from there. So, propellers, let's go with those. Uh, grab one of these, whack it on there. I don't know whether we ever want this actually pointing upwards. Uh, what does the arrow mean? I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, this is going to be about 50%, that's fine. Three blades, yeah, sure. And then we're going to get another one. And we're going to do it this way around, but it's also going to be in the air. There we go. So, the reason I've done it like this uh, is with country rotating props is because uh, it'll keep us more stable when going, uh, trying to take off and stuff. Um, yeah, so that'll be good. That'll be excellent. Uh, all right, with that being said, let's jump in here, uh, put some motors in, and see what we can do. So, uh, motor... I don't even know which motor would work. Uh, maybe one of these. Let's get ourselves some pipes, and see if we can actually just whack in a medium motor. I don't know whether it'll fit. That's, that's the only problem I think we've got here. Don't know whether it'll fit. It's going to be heavy too, but I think the heaviness will be fine. So whack that directly under there. There we go. Excellent. Attach this to up and down. Uh, yep, there we go. WNS is going to go to these on the rear. We're going to have uh, A and D do the roll. There we go. And then left and right do the yaw. And I think that'll be fine, to be honest. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. So, let's get this thing into the sky and see how it works. Because it might work well, it might not. We'll see. Uh, we're also going to have brakes on there too. Okay, uh, we're then going to actually go ahead and do this. This is going to be 3 to 1. There we go. Even though it's pushing two props around, I think that'll be fine. Let's spawn it in, open up the doors, and see if we can get this thing flying. Hopefully we can. It looks better than, than anything that I've built previous. Uh, actually, the second plane was good, so... Maybe it's not the best one, but we'll see. Anyway, let's get inside. Uh, turn on infinite electricity, because obviously that's something that we need. And let's take off. Oh my. Okay, so it rammed itself into the ground straight away. Our roll is inverted. Our Everything's inverted. 
Literally everything is inverted. I like it though. It flies. All right, cool. So uh, all we got to do is uh, flip these over. So cut this, flip it, turn it around, paste it. There we go. Good. Uh, merge that straight in with that. That's good. We now need to do this side as well. So grab this, cut it, flip it, turn it around, paste it, and then merge it in. There we go. We then need to do these ones also. So this one uh, and this one. Cut it, flip it, turn it around, paste it. There you go. Excellent. And merge this in. The problem with these ones at the back is obviously they need painting. But uh, that's okay. We can totally do that. So there we go. That's everything now sorted. Uh, I don't know why it automatically like smacked itself into the ground. Uh, that's really, really annoying, I suppose. Um, how do we counter that? I'm not even entirely sure how we counter that. I don't know. All right, we also need to actually figure out how we're going to get inside of this thing. So we're going to delete this right here. We're going to delete that right there. We're going to get ourselves a pivot, and we're going to attach it. Uh, actually, we'll make it this color first. But we're going to attach that pivot directly onto here like this. We're then going to... Um, we need a window, actually. All right, hang on. Window, we need one of these to go on there like this. All right, excellent. We then need to grab uh, that piece, this piece, and this piece, as well as this piece and that piece. Uh, kind of. We're going to cut all of that. We're going to paste it. And we're going to merge this with this. This with this. And now we should be able to open up the, uh, the canopy. From a button right here. Toggle button. Let's go ahead and make it in this color again. Because reasons. So there you go. And we're going to go ahead and put it right there. We're going to go ahead and attach this onto a switch box. And then we should be good to go, to be honest. So this is going to go directly here like this. We're going to attach that to there. We're going to attach this onto here, and yeah, we now need to label this one, so it opens. Go! Let's see if this works. Yep, opens all the way up. Get inside, go ahead and close it, and sit down. There we go. Very nice. Okay, let's see if we can take off again. It automatically, like, pitch noses down. It automatically noses down. That's really annoying. That's extremely annoying, actually. Because the rest of it actually flies fine. It's just when it noses down, it breaks. That's not good. I actually kind of want uh, to angle it forwards. Okay, so I'm going to try and angle the landing gear forwards. This might be a really silly thing to try, but let's try it. So that's going to go there like that. All right, we're then obviously going to have to detach this from the main body, if that makes any sense. So we're going to cut this. And we're going to paste it in again. We're then going to go to the other side and do the same thing. So cut it and paste it. We're going to delete these guys. Reattach them back on like this. And there we go. That's fine. So we now need to merge this with this. I can't seem to click on it. But there you go. So merge that with that. Merge this with this. There we go. So they're, they're merged together now. So now we want the wheels actually facing forwards. So we need a number... That is going to allow us to just do that automatically. Is this going to be fine? What number is this? 0.05. Maybe that's enough. Maybe that is enough. So we attach that directly onto there and onto here. Okay, excellent. Uh, and then we go for it. Let's see what happens. Spawn it in. So that landing gear should be forward now, which it is, but it's not forward enough. Yeah, okay. So we're going to need another number, which is fine. We can do that. So... Whack that onto there. Go ahead and attach this onto there and there. And make this number... I was going to say 1, but not 1. Not 0.3. There we go. That might be quite far forward. That still looks... I'd say that actually looks pretty good. Uh, it's it, uh, Getting the right wheel size and stuff is very difficult. I don't think they're quite the right size of wheels. So we're going to increase the radius to 0.1.75. Oh, oh, they're different on both sides, of course. There you go. Kind of interesting. Uh, if it works, it works. If it doesn't work, then that's bad. <laughs> All right, let's get inside. There you go. Close it up. Let's go. No, even that hasn't hasn't really helped. Even that hasn't really helped. Ah, oh, it's super annoying. I think we've done an alright job with like the detailing and stuff on the sides, making it look nice. It just now needs to take off properly, uh, and then we'll be good. Okay. All right. So with that being said, what happens if we actually change the, the main color to be green? I know this might be weird, but what if we do that? Okay. Might be a bit strange. 
We then grab this color and we start just doing like little little blobs, you know? Like little little blobs on here. Making it like camouflaged. Kind of. Camouflaged? What do you think? Do you think this looks camouflaged? Maybe. Alright, there we go. And then maybe some like little blobs of like brown, I guess? Maybe like this color? Nah, it's too dark. We need a brighter brown. That's way too bright. Uh, this one? Maybe. I'm not very good at being random with this stuff. Uh, I really struggle with it, but let's go ahead and do that. And then a little bit right there, a little bit here, a little bit across the front. Akidaki. Akidaki. There we go, right? Let's go. Uh, I think that looks rubbish. <laughs> I don't like it. I, I don't like it. But uh, it works. So uh, maybe it does work. Maybe without the brown. Let's go ahead and change the brown into, into this. Uh, and then we'll go from there. So without the brown, sure. I think that works. Why not? So with that being said, uh, we need, we really, really need the propellers to not hit the uh, hit the ground. It's, it's a really, really bad sign that they're smacking into the floor straight away. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how I fix that though. I, I don't know how we fix that. So let's close this up and let's go. Here we go. Oh no, we smacked it into the ground straight away, but we are now in the sky and we are flying. I, I like the shape of it now. We now just need to add bombs and guns and then I'll be good. And then obviously the other detail, the extra detail, we'll probably do that too. Um, but honestly, I kind of like it. I think we've done an alright job. I think this looks okay. Doesn't look amazing, but if we had one by eight blocks, it would be able to look good. But just not in this situation, unfortunately. All right, so let's take this thing and uh, whack it on the aircraft carrier and see how big it is and see what it looks like. Because it might be good, it might not. Also, before we do that, I'm actually going to go ahead and indent uh, those those things that are poking out. I'm going to bring them out. Uh, so yeah, okay. Let's see if that looks better or worse. We'll see. I kind of feel like it looks worse, and the main reason behind it is it, it sort of accentuates... Accentuates? Is that the right word? It makes these bumps act, actually look way more like... I don't know, like there's a bump there, and then there's a bump there. Whereas if these are actually sticking out, uh, the bumps look a little bit less intrusive. And I think that looks better, to be honest. Um, yeah, I think I like that more. Even if it's not necessarily that nice. Yeah, we're going to leave it like that. Okay, so let's save this. Let's attach it to our aircraft carrier and see how big it is compared to it. All right, so here it is actually on the deck of the aircraft carrier. I think it does actually look pretty good out here on the deck. Obviously, we can get inside and we should be able to take off from the deck. However, obviously, we need to figure out why it's smacking into the ground straight away as soon as we take off. Um, but other than that, I actually really rate this. I think it looks, I think it looks all right. It doesn't quite look as good as our second plane, I don't think, but this can be like the bomber. It can hold the bombs, uh, and then we can have a mini fighter that goes up as well, uh, cause I think that'd be pretty good. So yeah, I think I'm pretty happy with this for now. Uh, I'm going to end this video here, uh, in the next one, I think we'll actually end up adding an engine to this thing cause we do need an engine still. Uh, and then we'll go from there. So for now, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.